Well, hello there, friends. Another soup today. Fantastic. A garlic soup. Three kind of garlic. I'm going to show you how to make it. It's a fantastic soup. Nice and creamy and delicious. We even put garlic costinis with it. Oh, you're going to love them. Friends, remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to ring the bell. Stay tuned, friends. We're doing it together right now. Okay, friends, well, if you like garlic, you're at the right place. If you don't like garlic, uh, maybe not. <laughs> you're gonna love it anyway, friends. All right, so three kind of garlic in this soup, friends. We're gonna have the sauteed garlic, which is nicely minced right there. Probably not gonna use all of that, but I'm gonna use a lot of them. Then I got uh, a garlic, uh, so, so that's gonna be the sauteed garlic. This is going, you know, I put the onion in there first, friends, because I don't wanna, while I'm talking to you, I don't want to concentrate on, uh, on, on this. What I have here, I have a pound, a half a pound of bacon that has been sauteing very slowly, you know, so then it doesn't burn the lean parts. Uh, it doesn't need to be part before the fat has time to render, which is very important, right? So I do it very, very low. And now I got the, uh, the fat from the uh, bacon that has released and I'm gonna saute the onion, okay? And I'm gonna caramelize the onion a little bit, okay? And, uh, and always make sure you check the bottom of the pot so it doesn't get stick. Remember, do low heat, low heat, low, low. When you do the bacon, always do low, okay, friends? All right, so we got the bacon and the onion going over there. So let's talk a little bit about the garlic. It's a garlic soup, so we really got to be garlicky, eh? Huh? And uh, so we got the sauteed garlic, which is nicely minced. We got the poached garlic. And the poached garlic is going to be to put the whole cloves in there. That's the mildest form of garlic you can do. When you have a, you're cooking garlic, this is the mildest way you can poach it. You can poach it in milk, you can put it in stock, or you can put it in a soup like that. And then we'll grind it all up at the end. That's when it's the mildest. And then we have the roasted garlic. And the roasted garlic, I already did it in advance, friends, because I wanted just to show you. I, I take about a whole bowl, bowl, bulb of garlic, right? And then I cut it in half, and then I, um, I put olive oil and rosemary, and you see, look, look. See, I, I did it yesterday, so I didn't burn myself. I wanted to show you. You see what happened? Look, see, it comes right out. But you don't burn it. You see, a lot of people, they do that, but they burn it. You don't have to, you see? You just get it right there, and, and the roaster smells amazing. You thought I was going to eat it, didn't you? <laughs> so what we'll do, we'll take it out of there. I just wanted to show you. See how simple it is? You just squeeze it. Look, look. Look, at see, see, look, it's soft like butter. You see, look, look. Can you see it right there, Jack? You got it, right? It, it's, it's like butter and the flavor of it. Oh, it's amazing. Let me wash my hand because now, of course, I got, uh, I got the olive oil. And, of course, I use my garlic olive oil for this. And uh, so here you go. My hands are dry. I, I clean now. So, um Really important, friend. The flavor of this roasted garlic is going to be amazing. So, so three way of cooking with garlic. Now, a garlic soup, you can't just have garlic, right? So we have vegetables that we're going to put with it. And uh, I have a bunch of it, uh, but you can put them all if you have them. If you don't have them, then just put a few of them. You know, you don't have to always follow everything. You know, cooking is not like, oh, if I don't have a, this one, oh, I can't do it. You know, like right now I'm using yellow carrots. Why am I using yellow carrots? Because they had them at the store and I thought it was pretty cool. And I wanted to keep the integrity of the soup whitish, yellowish. I don't want it to put any red in there for some reason. I got a little bit of red, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So I got yellow carrots. And, and did they taste any better? No. Did they look better? Yeah, they look kind of cool, didn't they? Right? So what I did, I cut them in half and then I cut them in little pieces. So they cook fast because this is going to cook pretty fast. It's a soup we're going to cook fast. This one we'll eat it later. All right. So I got celery. This is the whole stock of celery, the whole whole thing of celery, right? And I got uh, um, uh, two leek. Um, I, 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 Jack hates when I move things around like that because he can't find it with a camera. See, <laughs> so I don't move no more. There you go. Leeks. I got two uh, thing of leeks. Thing of leeks. You know the leek. <laughs> cut it in half. Cut it in little pieces, and then you rinse it with water. You put it in water. In a bowl of water, it's the best way to do it. You put it in a bowl of water, and it climbs, it goes all the way to the top, and the sand, the dirt from the leak, stays in the bottom. You grab it, and you're good to go. Uh, cauliflower. You're going to say, cauliflower in a garlic soup? Why not? 
Can I give it a nice flavor? Cauliflower is mild. It's a mild vegetables, and I think it'll be perfectly fine. It'll give us a nice texture. And, uh, and, uh, and I saw it, I said, why not? You know, I think it'll be perfect. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. But we got this, and then what else have we got? Potatoes. I'm gonna put some, um, a little bit of Yukon Gold potato. It's gonna give, it's gonna help a creaminess in the soup. Uh, and I'm gonna puree everything to be smooth as silk. I got a little bit of a red chili pepper. Uh, a little spicy, but not too much. You know, just to give it a nice little spice. Cut up in nice, nice little pieces right there. We're gonna put that in there. Freshly chopped parsley. I got some fresh thyme also, huh? fresh thyme. So uh, uh, maybe two tablespoons of fresh thyme. And then we got a little butter if we need it. We always have butter. Just in case you don't know when you're gonna need it. You know, you have it right there and you, you should always have it on, the, on, on when you do your mise en place. Should always have butter. Because first of all, it looks good and an and emotional support. When you look at butter, how can you possibly think anything about it? You got bad feeling about something, look at butter for a while. Just concentrate on butter. I'm telling you, you'll see, I'm guessing. I know he's laughing over there, but no, you're not laughing. Look, two cup of couscous, a little pasta. Uh, couscous is a, is, a, is a pasta, it's a round pasta. Uh, it's got a bunch of different names, and uh, you know, Israeli couscous. I know it's not really an Israeli couscous, but um, anyway, it's a run pasta, very small. And this in a creamy, creamy soup, this is going to be amazing. We're going to cook it separately, all right, and then we're going to add it at the end. All right, friends, so far, so this is the idea. Remember, in this channel, first, what we do, we show you a recipe, we do it, you get your mise en place ready, whatever vegetables you decide to do, based on the recipe that we have online. And when you're ready, you come and we do it together. That's the whole idea of cooking, of this channel. It's not like an, uh, a normal channel, like what they do, like a tic tac tock thing, when they go so fast and they, they do a complete recipe in one minute. How can, you, how can you follow? You can't do it. So here you come with me, you get a glass of wine, and then when you're ready, you come and cook. All right, so now, friends, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the first garlic. And the first garlic is a sauteed garlic. And, and how long do we cook the sauteed garlic? Until you can smell it. Until it releases its fragrance. Okay, so this is really important for the sauteed garlic because we want to capture that aroma. It smells. When you poach the garlic, when you roast the garlic, you can only smell this if you, if you put your nose on it. I mean, you can smell it a little bit when it's in the oven, but sauteed garlic, the minute it, it, uh, it heats the, 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 the heat, the heat, it releases the amazing fragrance, which is what we put garlic in for. So we're gonna do it right now, right? So right now, no smell, we got about a good, don't be afraid now, a good uh, two, three tablespoons of garlic, okay? I don't need all of it. All right, two, three tablespoons of garlic, and you're gonna think it's a lot, it's not, and you're gonna think that's a lot, it's not, trust me. Well, especially when you cook it for a while, and you're gonna sit up here. So how long do we cook it for? Until, it start releasing its fragrance. It doesn't take long. It doesn't take long. You see, you, you, it doesn't take long, friends. Now, you see, oh, be careful here because the, the pan is getting hot. All right, so you see? Now, of course, you see. You're not gonna see the aroma of the garlic, but I'm gonna smell it. Smell-o-vision. One day you watch with the stuff they're inventing these days. One of these days they're gonna have smell-o-vision. You'll turn it on and you'll be able to smell. Wouldn't that be amazing? Okay, they come up with things today. I mean, think about the thing they came up today. All the robotics thing and mama mia. They come up with that eventually. Okay, look. Smell it. You smell the garlic, so now not to let it burn. Let's give it a little stock so we can relax, okay? There you go. Now I can relax. I got three ladles here. I'll tell you later on. How much I put in, but uh, you, uh, there's a trick of how much we put in and why do we put it in. I'll show you in a minute, okay? So now, we got three little of this. Now we can put our vegetables. We can relax now. Our leeks. We can put our celeries. Okay. Now we can, re we can relax. Little carrots. But I'll be yellow carrots, and you want to put carrots in there. Put the red carrots, or orange, whatever they are. Right? It doesn't matter. Cauliflower, you know, have it, don't put it in. Don't worry. It's gonna be nice, so I promise you. I, cauliflower is very mild, like I said, vegetables. This is two 
whole bulb of garlic. You're going to think it's a lot? Wait until you make it. You're going to agree with me. It was not a lot. Uh, fresh thyme. Two full tablespoons of fresh thyme. Remember, friend, if you're using dry, what do you do? Cut in half. The whole chili flake, uh, chili uh, uh, pepper, fresh, fresh one. If you can't find that, if you don't have any, you can use chili flakes. Relax, it's only cooking. The, um, the potatoes, we're going to put them on top. This is four Yukon Gold potatoes. They were pretty big. They were pretty big, okay? So we're going to put them in here. Boom. Right? So far, so good, right? Um, you know, it's super not complicated. What's complicated about it is the prep. It takes a little bit of time to do it, okay? So now, was that my fourth one, Jack, or my third one? My third one. Okay, here we go. So now, so, so a three, so that's four. Make sure I get it full here. That's five. And that's six. And that's seven. They're 12 ounces each, seven of them. Okay, so now, friends, why do I stop? I want to make sure that I just cover my vegetables. You can always add more later. You can't take it out. If you have too much stock, then your consistency of your soup won't be as thick as you want, as creamy as you want. You're going to have to bring it up with a little thickener. A cornstarch, arrowroot, tapioca powder, roux, whatever it is you have, you want to thicken it with, right? But if you put just enough and your rice is too thick, you can always add more. Not a problem. Okay? So now, friends, we're going to cook this. This is going to cook for about, we'll bring it to boil. The second it boils, we're going to cook very slowly. Bloop, 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 bloop. Very slowly now. Not like, go nuts on you, right? And uh, go slowly, let it cook. And, uh, and, then, uh, and then in the 45 minutes, what we'll do, we'll check to make sure the vegetables are cooked. And we we'll make sure that the garlic, this, this garlic right there, is as soft as this guy right there. So this, I'm going to take it out of there, right? Because it's already cooked. I'm going to take it out of there. I'm going to put it in a little bowl. And at the last minute, when we puree the whole thing, I'm going to add it with it. All right, friends? So we're going to wait for this to be completely soft. By the time this is soft, like this guy right there, we'll be able to puree. We'll check the other vegetables to make sure they're all done. We'll be able to puree it all into this amazingly creamy soup. All right, friends? So I will see you uh, however long it's going to take, about 45 minutes to an hour. But remember, slowly, yeah? See you in a minute. Okay, friends. Cook however long it takes. You got to make sure, though, whatever you have. Like, for instance, look at the garlic, okay? Look, look at the garlic right there. See, look. Garlic puree. Uh -huh. Okay? Friends, I'm going to put some uh, garlic crostini. Okay, and I got, I used some of that uh, 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 garlic, um, the, the poached garlic right there. I used some of that to put it in a garlic butter. Uh, you know, and also made, a, we also made a, a, a video on uh, a, a uh, flavored butter. And we got this garlic butter. Then uh, 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 we, we made that video on it, and you can check it out. So what I did is I put that on beautiful bread right there. And I'm going to put, I got the broiler on. I'm going to put them into the broiler for a minute, eh? So, uh, don't let me forget it. <laughs> don't let me forget it. The soup, friend, is nice, ready to go. Um, we're going to puree it. So, you know, you can use your immersion blender and, and do it, except I'm in a hurry, so I use the big one because it makes it a lot easier. Eh? <laughs> it goes a lot faster. And then we're going to get it. Uh, I think we're going to go full speed with this. We're going to puree everything. It's got to be smooth as silk. Now you're going to understand, friends, the power. The power of barely covering the vegetables. So we have a smooth consistency already. We don't need to add anything. And you watch. I'm going to say that. And, uh, and it's going to be too liquid. <laughs> if it is too liquid, not a problem. Take it up for a little cold stuff. Or if you have a cooked roux or 
arrowroot or tapioca powder. I'm trying to speak, speak over here so you don't hear the machine too much. We're gonna put a little bit of cream in here, friends. A little bit of heavy whipping cream. You don't have to put the cream. But why not? Just a little bit. Oh, oh, there we go, that's it. That was very carefully measured. Three quarter of a cup. It's okay, half a cup, three quarter of a cup, a cup. As long as it tastes good. Who cares? You may have the recipe police gonna say, hey, this is not three quarter of a cup. Have a drink. Look, 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 look. Looking beautiful, right? Let's see. Don't do this at home, okay? I do not recommend you leave, oh, the, I don't call all the costinis. <laughs> don't let me burn the costina. You stay. Holy macaroni. Another 15 seconds. Jack, don't let me forget him. We're looking good, we're looking good. Just a little more cream, okay? Don't tell anybody. There you go, that's it. Oh, mamma mia. Okay, look, look. Smooth. No. Oh, mamma mia. Let me get the costinis before it's too late. Look at this, you see? Then take very long. Okay, another 12 seconds. <laughs> Let me take the machine off, friends, before something bad happens, eh? There you go. Let's take it out right there. So the rest of it is easy. Okay. Now I can relax. It's not. Oh, the costinis. Jack, did you notice? I forgot the crostinis. <laughs> I gotta get the salt and pepper right there because I'm gonna have to, I forgot him, right? I'm forgetting. He's laughing. Oh, mamma mia, just on time. <laughs> you see that? That's beautiful, just on time. Okay, now I can have my glass of wine. All right, friends, let's check it out. Let's take this and put it right here. So I don't need to worry, I now need to test. Oh, 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 you know what we gotta do, friends? We gotta put a pasta right there. Okay, the, uh, the Israeli couscous. It's like little pearls of cooking. You can skip that if you don't want it. Don't worry, it'll be delicious without it. It's just a really cool uh, texture than it has, okay? I also like to add uh, chopped parsley in the soup. All right, garlic and parsley, they were met, they were met to be together. It really is those two ingredients, right? And I love the, uh, you know, I'm very old fashioned. I love the uh, curly parsley. Use whatever parsley you want. People love the Italian parsley. Uh, I, I, I myself, I myself, yeah. In French, we call that a pleonasme. When you're saying the same thing twice, I myself. Yes, oh, look, look. I want to show you. I want to show you what I'm looking for. Okay, look, look, look. You see that? You see it, Jack? See how beautiful that looks? Let's take a ludo, a ladle. Let's take a, uh, you know why I say ludo? I used to call him ludo because in French, a ladle is uh, louche. So look, look, look at this. Is that gorgeous? Can you see right there, Jack? My, my, my. <laughs> Test it, or oh, you want to eat it? <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, I gotta test it. I gotta test it. <laughs> I gotta test it. Because if I don't test it now, I don't know for sure. You know, I already added some salt when you weren't watching uh, what I was cooking. I was watching it. Yeah, I gotta be careful, it's hot. Okay, it needs almost salt. How do I know that? Because it's a little blend. It needs to wake up. Wake up. You'd be surprised, you know, you may think, oh my goodness, with all our garlic, it's gonna be very garlicky. Okay, it's garlicky, because it's supposed to be garlicky, right? But is it overly garlicky? No. Look, look at the texture, look at the texture. Oh, I love my life. I mean, look at this, for a living, what do you do? I do the things that I love to do the most is eat. <laughs> I'm on a diet right now. I'm on a diet, I gotta lose a little weight. Let me try it again, friends. You make that soup, you're gonna fall in love with me, I promise you, my friends. Be careful, it's hot, okay? Okay, almost salt. You see, you can't be afraid of hot salt. You can't be afraid of hot salt. 
just a little more parsley. And then I'm gonna put the bacon bits on top. I made the perfect bacon bits. You hear him? Jack released the video, I believe. Right, Jack? He already released the video over the weekend, the perfect bacon bits. Easy, put them in the oven. None of that, put them on the stove and get the stove all messed up. Put them in the oven. Really easy to do. Don't be buying them bacon bits to sell you at the store. Like they're not even bacon bits. I don't know what they put in there. Hey, look at this, friends. I'm going to put it in here. Look at this. Look at the look. By the way, you see? I didn't even add any more stock. All I did was just cover the vegetables. That's why you don't measure. Whatever amount of vegetables you put in. Okay, look at this. Does that look beautiful or does that look beautiful? I think it looks beautiful. All right, now we're going to put the crunchy. I'm telling you, when I say crunchy, I mean crunchy. Crunchy bacon bits. We're going to put them everywhere. Everywhere we're going to put them. Okay? Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere we're going to put the bacon bits. Because I tell you what, they're delicious. And every bite, you're going to have a little crunch. That's why it's important to make them nice and crunchy. Okay, enough, Jean Pierre. And then a little bit of parsley. Boom, 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 boom. Very simple presentation. And voila, my friends. Voila, 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 my friends. I think we should put four. I know three is better, but we're going to go with four. Right there, my friends. And this is my garlic soup. And this right there, my friends. It's amazing. Mm. It's delicious. It's very hot. You may want to wait until it's not so hot. <laughs> Friends, I hope you make it. It's delicious. I can't wait for you to try it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We found out the other day that over 50% of people that watch us are not subscribed. Please subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you as a subscriber. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And thanks for watching, friends. Well, well, let me tell you. The bacon bits are, are amazing. I'm glad I added extra salt. Because I tell you what, they really needed some salt in there. He was definitely lacking some salt. Let's take a nice picture, Jack. What do you think? You're hungry? Oh, you're a pope Catholic. Are <laughs> you hungry?